Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about Commerce Bank and four ways that you can close your bank account. So first, what might be some reasons to close your Commerce Bank account? Well, there could be many reasons. Some of these could include fees that the bank is charging are too high, they require a certain minimum balance, or you've moved to a new part of the country where this bank is simply no longer available to you. Whatever your reason is for wanting to close your Commerce Bank account, I'm going to walk you through the different ways that you can do that. Now before you close your account, you'll want to make sure that all of the funds are taken out of the account and no automatic payments are scheduled to come out. Also, if you have any direct deposits, make sure that they're no longer set to be deposited into this account. Once these are all taken care of, you'll be ready to close your bank account. Now for a couple of these options, you will need to access the Commerce Bank website as you can see, I'm already on this website and you can see the URL at the top of the screen. It's commercebank.com. So the first way to close your account is by calling the bank and closing your account over the phone. The easiest phone number to find is going to be a customer service number located on the back of your debit card. You can call this number and if the first person you speak to is unable to close your account, they should be able to transfer you to the correct department from there. When you call, they may require verification in writing before they will actually close your account, but closing it over the phone is usually an option. The second way that you can close your account is by mailing Commerce Bank a letter. This option is actually going to be the least recommended one though, because when you mail the letter, you won't know if the correct department received the cancel letter. This is also the slowest and most inefficient option. However, it is still an option if you prefer it, and if you choose to use this option, you can usually find the mailing address on the Commerce Bank website, but just know that that can sometimes be a little bit difficult to find. So if you're having trouble, you can also try doing a Google search to find the mailing address. And if you happen to know of another way to find this address, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know. The third way to close your account is by stopping by a physical Commerce branch and closing it in person. Now some banks only have a few branches, but you can utilize the website to find a branch close to where you're located. To do this, you're going to click on the locator icon, which is located at the very top of the screen towards the middle or the right. So you click on that, and then that should take you to a screen where you can enter your location. And so you click the little arrow on the screen bar, and there, from there you can enter your location and select which kind of location that you would like to find. So I would select commercial bankers, so that way you only get location, actual branches that you can walk in and speak with someone, and then it'll show you all of the locations within your area on this map. When you go to the branch, make sure to take some kind of identification with you, such as a driver's license or another form of government ID. The last way to close your account is going to be by logging into your Commerce Online Banking account and making an electronic request. So I'm going to go back to the home screen to start from there again, and to log in, you're going to click on the menu button at the top right corner of the screen, it's on that same bar where the locator icon was, and then that gives you this drop down window where you can enter your customer ID, click log in, and then it will ask you to put your password in. Once you're logged in, you can look for the option to close your account. Sometimes this means just sending an email to Commerce Bank or it could be filling out an online form. So those are the four ways that you can close your bank account. If you happen to know of a different way to close a bank account at Commerce Bank, be sure to leave a comment and let us know. And like I said earlier, if you know of another way to find the mailing address or even the phone number, please also be sure to let me know in the comments. And also, if you're looking for a new bank, be sure to check out the video description for more information on banking.